Okay, it kind of sucks that my last two videos have just been me in bed right before I go to bed. I'm not the best content creator, I'm aware of that. But anyway, so I was just watching a movie, and my sister came into my room, and pretty much me, uh, said, yeah, you know what Blade is? And I'm like, I don't watch him, but yeah, I know he is. And, um, she was like, yeah, well, he's kind of dead. And when she said that, it's not like I went, what? You're joking. I, I, when, when she said that, it's not like I thought she was pulling a prank. I kind of knew. I kind of was like, yeah, that makes sense. Because uh, I never watched him, but I kept up this cancer story, and I, I knew who he was, and I respected him. Because uh, there's so many, oh, I keep dropping the camera, whoops. So many, like, fake Minecraft speedrunners and stuff like that, and he's genuinely real. So I, I, I actually did, like, actually respect him. Um, I never watched him, like, a lot, but I knew who he was, and I thought he was funny. Uh, in the small amount of time I did watch him. And um, when I saw that So Long Nerds video, I'm actually, when I say I saw it, I'm... Still watching right now. I'm four minutes and forty two seconds in. Definitely, it's definitely hitting me pretty hard right now. Um, I think, uh, I think what's getting to me the most throughout this video was that, <coughs> oof, X, is that even though uh, he's dead and he's no longer with us, he's still trying to make us laugh. I guarantee you, he told his dad to make that title so long. There's, I guarantee you, he did that. And um, the fact that he still wants to make us laugh even past the grave. Even beyond the grave, or beyond, uh, I don't know what the right analogy is. I respect him a lot for that, and um, I just want to say I hope he rests easy. Uh, you made a whole generation of, of kids laugh. 11 million subscribers, almost 11 million people that looked up to you, and 11 million people that trusted you, and I hope they take your story and they apply it to their own personal stories, because you kick... You kick some booty, man. I mean, even though you've you've passed on now, you you still you you kick that cancer's butt for a very long time now. You kick that cancer's butt. You gave it a wedgie. Um, you kick you you bullied it pretty much. You bullied that cancer, and even though that cancer caught back up with you, you still wrecked it for that small amount of time. And uh, I just want to say thank you, and I respect that, and I hope you can finally rest easy. Um, I don't usually talk about uh public topics, the only thing I, I only think the, uh, I can't talk, the only public topic I think we ever talk about except for this is the Ackerman situation, uh, which I was very passionate about, and I'm also very passionate about this, because, like I said, I didn't watch it, but I genuinely wanted him to make through it, and, um, even as far as, uh, even as recently as a week ago, I was still checking in, making sure he was doing okay, making sure he was on that grind, make sure he was okay, getting those speed runs. Turns out that's not what he's doing. Um, turns out he is dead. Which sucks. I think that is truly... I think that... I think... Uh, I, I can't talk right now. I'm a pretty emotional about this. It's funny, because I never watched him. And I I don't... May, I think I've had a family member die of cancer before, but it's been a, a while, so I don't even know why I'm getting emotional, but I am. I think it's generally because I feel like uh, we've put so much hope, we've put so much faith, and we hoped he would make through it, and he didn't, and it just, it just feels, feels like we lost, you know, it feels like we put our all into the battle, but we still lost. I think that's the saddest, but also happiest part about this whole situation. I think it's sad that, I think it's really sad that we still, we put our faith, and he still went, and it truly shows how cancer, if cancer wants to take your life, it's going to take your life. Same time, I think it definitely inspired Techno. Even though he didn't make it, I bet it inspired him to push through and stuff like that. Um, just just to make sure that his audience, was, just just to see all the inspiring stuff his audience had for him. I think, I think that probably did help him push through a lot better. And I'm hoping it did. But yeah, um. I know this is going to get views, but I'm telling you now, I'm not just making this video for views. I'm making it because I'm genuinely passionate about this, and I really hope he rests easy because he, he, he inspired a, a damn a generation. He inspired a generation, and, I'm, and I know people are going to miss you. And um, I heard your father say, you've inspired a generation. You can rest easy now. You don't have to keep fighting. And um, I wish someone told him that earlier. Uh, so he didn't have to go through all that pain because he was he was definitely a, he was he was a man. I don't know what else to say. Um, uh, he was he he kicked he kicked that cancer's butt, and he genuinely tried his best. And even though it didn't work out, that grind I hope sticks with other cancer patients right now and future cancer patients to strive and look on the positive. 
because I imagine he did. But yeah, that's pretty much it. If this video makes no sense, I'm probably going to delete it better, make a better version of this. Because, um, I, uh, I'm going to be honest, I know this video is bad, and I know I'm probably putting across the, uh, the, uh, message I'm trying to get across in a really bad way. I'm very aware of that. But, um, <laughs> uh, yeah, rest easy, Techno. I'm, it sucks I've gone, but I'm happy that you're no longer struggling, and you're no longer in pain, and you're resting easy now. And, um, I hope you're, I, I, I don't know, um, up there with some of the other YouTube greats. Yeah, I guess that's about it. I, I, I can't think of anything else, to be honest. I'm very tired, and, uh, yeah, I'll probably delete this video and make a better version of it, uh, later.